What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are rocking out with a Master Tier Glaceon team that also features Life Orb Garchomp and Mold Breaker Tinkathon. You guys are in no deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button and join the Genius community. Seriously, huge shout out to everybody who has been supporting me as of recently. Like I already mentioned, big things coming to this channel. We have a brand new rebranding coming out here, members coming out, all that good stuff. So stay tuned with all of these updates. But uh, we can get started here with today's team preview, starting off in that top left corner with the one and only Glaceon. Very cool evolution. I've been trying to showcase every single evolution. We have a few left to do, but Glaceon is today's video snow cloak as its ability citrus berry as item and then it's rocking detect freeze dry terror blast and icy wind for speed control really liking this glaze sound gonna be good up against dragon and good up against water type pokemon as well due to that freeze dry move second pokemon is going to be indeed our support pokemon for the team it has psychic surge as its ability and the psychic seeds as its item so when it hops into battle it's going to get a free special defense boost it has protect Follow me, Helping Hand, and then Dazzling Gleam, which it is also Terrestrialization or Terra type is going to be Fairy. So we can Terra in a Fairy if we want to, pop some Dazzling Gleams, get off some big damage. Third Pokemon is going to be Armourouge, and Armourouge pairs really well with Indeed. That combo I've been seeing all over the meta, and it is just super, super strong. This one has Flash Fire and the Mirror Herb as item, Rock and Trick Room, Expanding Force, Armor Cannon, and Wide Guard for its moveset. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Life Orb Garchomp. Garchomp has just been all over the meta, super, super strong, but this time this one is rocking Sword Stance. This could be a lot of fun. If we get Sword Stance set up, I could pretty much just tear it in the ground, EQ out, and just sweep battles. This one has Rough Skin, Life Orb, Moveset has Protect and Dragon Claw, and then like we already mentioned, EQ and Sword Stance. Bottom left hand corner, our fifth Pokemon is going to be Kilowattril, and I feel like Kilowattril it's pretty solid in ranked battles. It's great for speed control and it is a great special attacker as well. As competitive as its ability, which will boost its special attack plus two if its stats are lowered, then it has the focus sash as its item. Protect, Tailwind for speed control, and then it's got Thunderbolt and Hurricane for two heavy hitting stab moves. Bottom Pokemon is going to be one of my Gen 9 favorites. It is going to be Tinkaton over here with Mold Breaker and the Assault Vest. It has Fake Out, Gigaton Hammer, Play Rough, and Knock Off for an amazing Assault Vest moveset for any Tinkaton. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, rent the code is at the top right hand corner. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to grab some wins with this master tier Glaceon team. First match coming at you guys. We're going up against the absolute meta right here. They got Garchomp, Meow Shirada, Annihilate, Golden Go, Amoongus, and Sylvia. So very cool Pokemon. Very strong team right here. How should we play this one? How should we go into it? I feel like Glaceon could be pretty solid here. It's super effective up against three Pokemon. So I really do like Sylveon, but I might not lead it. It might be more so of a, like a back end. Might lead Tinkaton. I feel like Tinkaton could be very strong here. Also, Kilowattle could be strong. So I could go Kilowattle and Tinkaton, potentially fake out, set up the Tailwind, and then go from there. Sounds pretty good, right? I am scared of the Annihilate, but Annihilate is definitely scary. But I do have Air Slash to kind of... Or not Air Slash. I do have Hurricane to get some work done. The only problem with Hurricane is... Is it gonna land? Its accuracy is is very very low, so mm, I don't know if I want to do that, but I think I am gonna do that. It seems like our best option. We're gonna bring in Glaceon, and then I think Garchomp as just a nice back end Pokemon is just always good. So we're gonna bring in Garchomp. We're gonna lock it in. We're gonna lock it down and look for our first win for today's video. But season one is coming to an end, and there are two Pokemon that I still want to showcase. I want to showcase Luxray and Leafeon. So if you guys have a Luxray or Leafeon team. Leave it in the comment section down below or tweet at me over on Twitter or DM me over on Twitter. It does not matter. And then from there on out, I'm looking for Series 2 teams. So if you guys have any Series 2 teams, start sending them to me now. Because I would love to get my hands on them for when Series 2 comes out so I can start recording with them. Uh, I really want to showcase Roaring Moon. Uh, what's the other Pokemon? Iron Valiant and Iron Thorns. The T-Tar. T-Tar I definitely want to showcase because that Pokemon looks amazing. But if you guys have any Series 2 teams, like I said, feel free to send them over to me. But they're gonna go Annihilate and Garchomp. Uh, I guess I just fake out the Garchomp, right? It's a free fake out onto the Garchomp. He could protect this uh, slot, but I feel like we just fake out regardless and then set up a Tailwind and kind of get after the battle that way. Seems like our best bet. Even if he protects it, it's no big deal. It is no big deal. But yo, Shiny Tinkaton's looking nice, right? That's shiny. It's like extra pink, right? <laughs> it's extra pink right now, which is absolutely dope. It's really, really cool. Kilowattro looks pretty cool. I, th I feel like a Shiny could be better, but it just has like a different shade of black. And a little bit of a different shade of uh oh like it's a pink it's like black but it's kind of pink at the same time but still i think it looks cool but he's gonna end up terrestrializing who's terroring garchomp it's gonna be the chomp straight ground water oh fancy now i can just thunderbolt thank you thanks for that i don't know what, what was that what, what's that for but 
Okay. <laughs> He's going to straight tear it into water. And we're just going to fake it out. We're going to give it a little clap skis here. And we're going to take complete speed control here. That's rough skin. So Tinker Tongue's going to take some damage. And Tailwind is out and about. So speed is on our side. So we got the speed. Annihilate's going to go next. What are you going to do? You're going to drain punch me. Okay, that's fine. So he's going to chip up a little bit of damage. I feel like I just play rough into that and I Thunderbolt the chomp slot, right? It seems pretty simple. Get off as much damage as I can onto that, uh, onto that Annihilate and then just straight up kill this thing, right? This Thunderbolt should just rip it in that. I don't understand the whole water trash slides there. To dodge the fairy type, but then you have to worry about the electric moves. I don't get it. I don't get it. You might as well just save your, your terror type and just swap. So let's see. He ends up swapping there. That's totally fine. He's going to go into from here. Moongus, maybe? I would think of Moongus, correct? Golden Go. Okay. Golden Go. I can deal with Golden Go. We can chip up some damage on that. And wow, that did some nice damage. Playoff's going to fly through here. Pick up even more damage. And he's probably going to Drain Punch me again, right? Okay, so Drain Punch, we actually live. That is a huge survive right there. And I think from here, what do we do? What do we do? Because player off will still KO the uh, Annihilate, no problem. The real question is, do we think Annihilate might protect? I still have Focus Ash, so I don't mind just player off in here. Or I could slide a knockoff over to that slot. But I think knockoff might be able to pick up KO. I really do. And this thing might even protect, so you know what? We go for the Hurricane Land, or Thunderbolt should be able to KO. I feel like Thunderbolt KOs. So we're going to do this. He ends up protecting. I was going to double down into Golden Go, because I think Knockoff should KO, but I'm not 100% sure. Thunderbolt is going to get blocked. Knockoff, give me the KO, please. Please and thank you. We don't feel like dealing with this Golden Go. Knockoff coming in here. We don't get the KO. What you mean? What you mean? We don't get the KO. Kind of hurts a little bit, but it's not too bad. We still have a Kilowatt roll on the field. We're not too worried about that, uh, that Annihilate, because I think I'm just going to Terra here, right? I think I just Terrasalize and start popping ground moves. Would that, be our, would that be our best bet? I do have Freeze Dry Glaceon for that Garchomp. It'll be good for us. Or do I just save our Terra for that? I really don't want to get ground move. I think we just go into you, right? Don't even Terrasalize. I don't even think we Thrasalize. I just think we go in the Garchomp. And we just pop EQs and finish off everybody on this field. So I'm with it. So EQ is going to fly for us. It has no effect on the Kilowattrel. And then we'll just drop a straight Thunderbolt. We still have speed, right? Yeah, when, yeah one more turn. And then I can set, set this up again next turn. All right. I'm cool with it. I'm liking it. My Pokemon outspeed. I think they outspeed regardless. But it doesn't really matter. And we'll go from there. So Thunderbolt flies here and does not pick up the KO, but we have EQ following it up. And we're just, we're just going from there. We're just going from there. Fine with it. I'm fine with it. And I don't even know if I go into a Tailwind next turn. I'm not too sure if we do that. Because right now, my Pokemon straight up outspeed. And I'm saving my Terra type for my Glaceon in case it comes down to a 1v1 onto that, uh, onto that Garchomp. So I can try slash, just start popping freeze drives, ripping into that thing. But he's going to end up going into Sylveon. We know we already outspeed them. There's no need to pop a Tailwind right now. There really isn't. I just think EQ's our play. I just think we EQ and we straight up double down into this thing. I'm with it. Thunderbolt coming out here. We're not popping another Tailwind. We're trying to get off as much damage as we can. No para comes out, which kind of sucks. But uh, we're going to rip with this. He's going to pop a Hyper Voice. And we're hoping one of my Pokemon can survive here, right? Oh, we... Hey, oh, the Sylveon. Wow. Chomp with the Orb. Chop with the orb. Doing some work. Doing some big time work. Um, okay. Cool with this. I'm cool with this, but now it's just GG's, right? It's just GG's. We bring in Glaceon and we don't even get to use it because I'm just going to straight up Thunderbolt. <laughs> I'm just going to straight up Thunderbolt. I go for a Dragon Call. Thunderbolt coming in here. I think our opponent cancels battle, right? He does not. Yo, Killer Watch will like stealing the show here. Doing some big time work. Going crazy. This thing goes for a rock slide. And my Chomp dodges it. Kilowatt will probably dies here. And then Chomp cleans up the battle with the Dragon Call. Light work. Light work in match number one. Your boy is killing it. Did not get to get, get out that Glaceon. But we were prepared. I was preparing to bring it out. So I thought this match was going to be a little bit closer until Garchomp just picked up that big time KO onto that Sylveon. But there it is. 1-0 to get us started. We're going to hop into a second battle. Look to go back to back. And more importantly, get Glaceon out on that battlefield.
Second match coming at you guys, going up against another heavy meta squad. They got Indeedy, they got Arm Rouge. Big time combo there. We also have it. We could bring it in if we want to. Might have to do it. They also got the Mouse Hold and Murkrow, and then they're rocking Arm Rouge and me, Alice How should I go into this one? I really don't want to lead to Glaceon, but I want to bring in Glaceon. Glaceon could be good in the back end, especially because they have Murkrow, Hydreigon, and me, Ascarada. Three Pokemon that were super effective up against. I'm loving it. I'm loving that. But uh, who should I lead here? I could go Mirror Herb Armors and Inthidi. I was trying to roll every battle that way. Or I can go Kilowattro. Hmm. Kilowattro and Chomp's not bad here either. Kilowattro and Chomp really are powerful. So I think I'm going to go in with them too. Bring Glaceon in the back end and then Tinkathon. Or I could just have straight up Armors or even Inthidi. What is the play here? Because Inthidi's not bad with the Gleams either. I think I'm going to bring Indeedy, have a little bit of support on our side. I'm all about it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to go back to back here in match number two and showcase Glaceon a little bit. Just, 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 just a little bit. Just a little bit. Because we all know Glaceon's not meta. It's not meta. But we have a good time. Oh, yo, look at that dude's trainer card. It was Greninja. I cannot wait to use Greninja. But we know Glaceon's not meta. But it's always a good time using the non-meta Pokemon and whooping up on some meta teams. But they end up going Murkrow and the Ascarada. Not bad. I feel like I have to match the Tailwind, right? Do I match the Tailwind or do I waste it? No, we match the Tailwind right here right now. So we're going to match the Tailwind. Uh, and then do I ship Dragon Claw Miascarada? Probably my best bet. I'm going to do it. Tailwind comes out from the Murky Merc. Miascarada is going to go next. We have Focus Ash. Probably going to drop a Flower Trick, right? No, just for a straight knockoff. So he knocks off my Orb and you get a crit. What is going on? They take rough skin damage, so if you were Sash, we take off your focus Sash, which is huge. Tailwind, we match it. We like to match that speed. And now we're getting after it. Dragon Claw coming in hot. Built. Doing some nice damage. Or might have allowed us to KO there. But I think Kilowattro might be faster than Miyasurata, which should be really, really big for us. You should be. 194, that's fast. And I think I'm just going to go into a Thunderbolt and say that that finishes it off because I don't want to go into a, a, a hurricane and miss and then I think I'm just going to protect the chomp because I feel like both Pokemon are going after chomp right trying to get rid of chomp with a foul play or another knockoff something along those lines I'm hoping Kilowatch will can outspeed like he just did and pick up the KO yeah beautiful 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 and then again I do think that the Murkrow is going after guard chomp to finish it off let's see no you going to my Kilowatch roll? you read the protect that was smart smart little read from our opponent Goes into Kilowattro. Hydreigon is next to come out. So Hydreigon flies out here. I feel like we don't worry about the Hydreigon too much. Because we A, we have Freeze Dry, Glaceon. And B, we have Terra, Dazzling Gleam, Indeed in the back end. So I'm going to straight up Thunderbolt this slot. And I think we do outspeed here. So I might as well just go into a Dragon Claw, correct? Yeah, might as well. Even though I do think he's going to Thrasilize. Are we going to see Thrasilize? And Murkrow might just straight up outspeed me. My Guard Chomp at least. And just KO me. We'll see how this one plays. It ends up terrestrializing into what type? Poison. A little bit of poison. A little bit of poison action. Poison is a little scary. That is definitely really scary. Thunderbolt's gonna fly here. How much damage are we doing? Just straight up picking up the KO. Good kill, Murkrow. Good kill, Murkrow. So Murkrow coming out on the field. Well, not Murkrow. Oh, good kill, Kilowattle. And he's gonna Draco Meteor my Kilowattle. So he just wants to get rid of that. And that's really fine by me. That is really fine. He's dropping a special attack, and he cannot swap out anymore. Or he can't even haze. I think that was his play. I think his play was just to drop a, drop a, what's called? A Draco Meteor, and then just haze it off, and then drop another one, haze it off, drop another one, which is pretty smart. Pretty smart play. But we end up going to Glaceon. We're showcasing this Pokemon. Armorous is going to fly here, and this is where I feel like I use my Terrasalization, correct? I have to Terra here. And I can go into Terra Blast, which is awesome. So I'm going to Terra Blast that thing down. And we should have outspeed. I could go for an EQ, but I'm just going to get off as much damage as I can on this slot. Because if I can just start targeting down, doing some damage, I can just bring in Indeedy and just start following me out and kind of going from there. But I will set the Psychic Terrain, which kind of sucks. We kind of don't want that because then that can lead to expanding forces from his arm rouge. But we just have to see speed right now, considering we're both in Tailwind. It's going to show speed, and Hydreigon's outspeeding me. Hurts the soul. Hydreigon outspeeds... Glaceon should be able to outspeed here. Yep, it does. And we're throwing this after you. Drop a nice little Terra Blast. How much damage are we doing? KO win. Oh, baby. Glaceon, that was huge. 
That was huge. Let's go. Big time KO from Glaceon. Tailwinds are gone, but again, we can follow me out these shots. You can follow me out these shots. Or I could protect. I could protect here. I could definitely protect. But this thing's minus two on special attack. I feel like follow me is just going to be to play. Minus two on special attack. I think we're thriving here. Got my psychic seeds too. Special defense boosted up against a special attacker. Oh yeah. Indeed he was a hundred percent the right call to bring in here. But from here, we could go Terra Blast. Or we could go freeze dry. What would do more damage now? They're both single stab. Terra Blast is going to do a little bit more damage. It is going to do a tad bit more damage. Because this would do 70 times the stab boost, which would be 35. So 105. This is now stab because it's rationalization. So we'll do 80 plus 40, which will be a nice little 120. Alright, okay, I'm all about it. So yeah, we're just gonna Terra Blast down this slot. And just follow me, because Glaceon's gonna be the one to pick up the damage. So follow me coming out here. My nice lovely croissant ears on the Indeedy. He's gonna end up going for Dark Pulse, which I think we eat, right? We don't eat. Was that a crit? It was a crit. What's going on here? <laughs> what is going on here? We should be able to eat up whatever he has to offer, right? Or this might even KO. They sound still doing some good damage. Can this just KO and we don't have to worry about anything? Yo, no shot. No shot. They just lived on a free focus ash. They just free sashed me. They just free focus ash me. Get that out of my face. They just free focus ash me. And if I lose this, I'm going to cry. But the only way I feel like we lose this is going to be is if he crits. Because again, he's going to go. He's probably not even going to go for the Draco Meteor. Probably going to stick with Dark Pulse. Maybe look for a flinch. I do not know. But I do want to go for a freeze dry because that move looks 10 times cooler. Actually, it might not because Terra Blast looks sick. But I just want to go for a freeze dry to finish this one off. What are you going for? A Draco Meteor. You died of this? You should be able to eat. Okay, okay. Yeah, I, I was worried for nothing. Absolutely soaked that up. Glaceon's pretty bulky as well. And then Freeze Dry comes out here. Freezes. Puts a little Glacier around that Hydreigon. Wraps up the battle. There it is. 2-0 to get us started. What a set of matches. Got out Glaceon in the second one. Let's hop to a third. Look for a lovely perfect record for today's video. Final match coming at you guys. Let's grab ourselves a perfect record. Going up against a Grimmsnarl and Breloom team. Dude, I love Breloom. Absolutely love that Pokemon. They also have Garchomp, Talonflame, Frigoraft, and Meet Oscarot. I feel like Tinkaton's going to be great just in case they want to lead the Frigoraft. We can also fake out Talonflame if it's not holding the Covert Cloak. I know a lot of them do, but Tinkaton is going to be a phenomenal lead. So I'm going to end up leading Tinkaton. I might also lead Armrouge and try to pop a Trick Room. I think that's a smart play for us. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go Tinkaton, Armrouge, Glaceon. And then last but not least, do I go Indeedee and just try to go full Trick Room here to win the match? I feel like this is fine. I feel like this is fine. Because if we have Armrouge out here, I can always just hard swap straight into Indeedee. Pop the second train and then just start expanding forcing out. Sounds pretty good, right? And it sounds not expected because we have Kilowattro and Garchomp. Our opponent's probably thinking, yo, Kilowattro, Garchomp, top tier combo right there. I gotta, I gotta play up against that. So I'm hoping we can just pop off this Trick Room and get rolling from there. I'm with it. So he goes Talonflame and Frigoraph. We can still fake out. We can still fake out here. So I really, really. Who do I fake out though? Probably the Frigoraph. I think we fake out the Frigoraph. And we allow Talonflame to just do its thing, right? I know it has Armor Tail, but Tankathon has Mole Breaker. Hits through abilities. We can fake it out, no problem. And then straight up Trick Room. We're going to hope that this thing pops Tailwind. We'll see what he wants to do. Then after that, I can just start getting after it for Graph. I can knock it off. I can drop. What is that? The armor cannon. I can do some big damage. Fake outs can come out here. Hitting up on that. We got that lovely little mole breaker. This thing's rocking. Rocky helmet? Get out of my face with that. Wire Blitz coming in here. Okay. I mean, I can deal with that. He's going to take recoil damage. We get off Trick Room and we kind of just go from there. And I can deal with that. Recoil damage. It's totally fine. So we recoil up here. Frigraph is going to do a little bit of a flinching. And Trick Room is popping. Trick Room is popping. So I could go Indeedee. Or I could go Glaceon. I'm going to go Indeedee here. Get the seed set up. I want to hope that that thing's not Trick Room again. Because then at that point, that could be scary. It could definitely be scary. So Second Surge is here. Beautiful. Got the combo out. And we still have Mirror Herb too. A little special defense boost. And Talonflame might even protect and he might try to counter Trick Room with Trick Room of his own. So I can either Gleam or I can help him hand the shot. 
I think we just gleam more. I could armor cannon. Hmm. Defense and special defense stats lower. I think we just follow me, just in case Talonflame wants to go for a shot here. Actually, no. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna make sure that we get rid of this uh Frigraph. We have to make sure we get rid of this Frigraph right here right now. Because again, I do not want Frigraph countering the turn. I kind of need it. It'll be big plays for us. So I'm going for the helping hand. I'm going for the big boost on damage, and we're rolling out from there. Because if I had to guess, like this would be my assumption is Talonflame would protect, which it does not. And I think Frigraph is going to try to counter Trick Room with popping another Trick Room of its own. It plots. Okay, good thing we're going after that anyway. Plot it. And thank you very much for that mirror herb. <laughs> I totally forgot about my mirror herb. Taking a sip of water over here. You just gave me a free plus two boost. Later, giraffe. Get it on out of here. We'll take that defense drop. I do wonder what Talonflame is going for. I'm kind of hoping a flare blitz, if anything, into Indeedee. Great bird. Go into Indeedee, please. Why, why did I get critted there? Just please tell me why I got critical headed there. Why? Why did I? Why did I get critted there? Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with that. We we will deal with that. that. That's fine. I'll take a crit there. Have my armor rouge die when it should be alive. I know my defense was down, but that crit, crit right there, gave it that boost, man. That dang crit. All right, it's fine. It's fine. We we, we can deal with it. We can deal with it. We bring out Glaceon again. We self trick him out and about. I wonder if Gleam could KO. Gleam might be able to KO the town. We're definitely going to go for a Gleam. And I, as much as I want to Terrasalize, I cannot Terrasalize Glaceon just yet. So we're just going to go into a Freeze Dry here. And we're going to go for a Gleam. I might end up Terrasalizing. You, Indeedee. Right? Seems very good. That would mm, that would not finish off the Talon Flame, but I feel like we would have to go after Talon Flame. Or I can just Icy win. Yeah, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're gonna Terrasalize indeed. Indeed with the fairy, fairy Tower, because if not, he just hits me with a dark move. He says Night Night to me. GG. So I'm gonna Terra you. And if I Terra Glaceon, what would that really do? Wouldn't really do too much. Glaceon one's gonna fly here. Who dodged it? Who talent? The one that I needed to hit. The one that I needed to hit. It misses. Indeed, can you pick up a KO? Maybe on Talonflame? I don't think you can. But I need to hit that Talonflame there. Yeah, Talonflame would have died. And I miss it with an Icy win? Come on now. Come on now. Not cool. Now he just Flare Blitzes me and I'm dead. Yeah, come on now. But it turns to a 1v1. That is that is atrocious. That is atrocious. We get a critical hit and we miss an Icy Wind? Come on, RNG. Can't be doing me 30 like that. Talonflame's going to get damaged by Recoil and it dies. So now we're sitting at a 1v1. They still have Terrasalization. And I do not know what Pokemon's gonna be. Because all we have left is Fairy Boo. Only move we have. Only move we have. And I feel like he's gonna go into something that just is the worst possible situation. Watch, he's gonna go into something that I think is gonna be good for us. And then he's gonna terrestrialize into something that's gonna be bad for us. And we'll be like, oh, come on now. But we're gonna see what is your final Pokemon. Hopefully it's a special attack because we're boosting on special attack. But dude, that really hurts right there. Really hurts. I miss my icy win. At least we were able to hit up on Miyashima and get rid of that Pokemon. But still, but still, hurts, hurts, hurts. I should have Water Terror though. I probably should have Water Terror, knowing that I could just go for an icy win and gleam to finish off the the Miyashima. But we'll see. Our opponent's taking so long to pick your last Pokemon. Did you lag out? Please don't tell me you lagged out. Please don't tell me. You have one Pokemon left. This shouldn't be a problem with you picking it. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Come on now. Come on now. Let, let Jeans win this battle. Maybe he's just wasting the time out. Thinking I'll quit. But this seems like over that 30, 60 second time limit, right? Seems like over it. Can you, like, what's going on? Do not lag me out of this match. Do not. This is such a good battle. Do not end it on a tie. There's no way our opponent lagged out. He's definitely just wasting time. 
know how this book is. This is annoying me now. This is getting to the point where I'll sit here for six hours. Go grab my camp stamp set. Oh, nope. It's communicating. Top of corner. Well, it's behind my face cam. And there it is. Garchomp. We can deal with this. How many turns left in Trick Room? They still have Terra. They still have Terra, though, right? We have two on Trick Room. Two on Trick Room. Gleam Supply. He's going to Terrestrialize in the ground. Chomp is coming out here. Like I said, something that I thought was going to be good, and now it's not looking too good. He's going to Terrestrialize into what type? Ground. I don't think we have this one. I do not think. Unless this guy is not smart enough to protect. But I think uh, we might die to a an EQ here. Oh, yeah. We do not have this. We do not have this. Because it's doing more than half. This might even KO us. Yeah, no shot. And he can just protect and kind of just go from there. But, wow. Comes down to the wire. Crazy, crazy, crazy match right there. I blame it on RNG a little bit considering he got a crit. And we miss our Icy Wind. Our Glaceon should still be alive. And if our Glaceon's alive here... Oh, yeah. Big old freeze try into this thing. And it's GG. That has some gonna fly. I'm surprised our opponent didn't protect just to waste out the trick and turns. But he knows he's soaking this up regardless. Even if I did get a crit there. EQ comes out here. We are dead. 2-1 for today's video. Not too bad. Got to showcase this team really well. And do really well on the Master Tier up against meta Pokemon. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, 2-1, and one, another winning record for the channel. Got to use Glaceon, got to showcase it really, really well. I do wish I did Terrasalize it in the third and final battle, because that would have ended up giving us the win. But it's all good. We'll take that L. We'll take a winning record regardless. We got out Arm Rouge there. Killer Watch will did some work in today's video. Guard Chomp, as always. And then we had Tinkaton and Indeedee in some battles as well. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.